All right, about to make it rain. Mortars. I hate mortars because I never get kills. But I like to use it on domination sometimes. Come on. Oh, what? A, oh, I'm just spraying it. Get up off the ground. There we go. Ooh, and a mortar kill. And, ooh, double kill. That's four kills in a row. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, come on. Getting stuck on this post. I'm not a stripper. Let's get out of here. Help my teammate secure a base. Secure a base or position, I should say. And what do we got here? Ooh, got somebody coming out of the tunnel. The tunnel of death. The tunnel of doom. I got your back, teammate. You can run away. Somebody chasing you? Yes, he is. What is that, six in a row? Six? We got somebody back there. Ooh, road rage. Get out of here. Come on, let's get that seventh in a row. There it is. Yes. What's up, ladies and gents? Happy Friday to you. I am back playing some Call of Duty Black Ops, switching it, switching back from the home front, just taking a little break. I, I missed my, my Black Ops, so I had to come back to it. I hope you all are enjoying your Friday evening, or if you're watching this not on Friday evening, I hope you're enjoying whatever time or day. I just hope you're enjoying yourself is what I'm trying to get across to you. I'm taking it pretty easy this Friday night, just having a little... A little cocktail and wanted to talk to you all. And what I want to talk to you about is, first of all, the Homefront series I've been putting up. So I've noticed, I've got a lot of feedback on my Homefront videos. And there's a, one thing I noticed about, about a lot of the comments that everybody's leaving. And that is, one, you either really, really love Call of Duty and you let me know that. Or you you might, might side with me because I... Cause I said in a few videos and few of the homefront videos that you know it's not as good as call of duty and i've got a lot of positive feedback about that like yeah man cod is the best game ever and then i got a lot of negative feedback about that so that would be number two that a lot of you are very passionate about hating the call of duty series and that's fine too to each his own i am totally cool with either i like the call of duty series and i like other games which is why i play other games but I did notice that a lot of you are very passionate about either liking it or hating it. And that's cool. I don't really know where I was going with that. I just wanted to touch on that. <laughs> oh, man. But I'm playing free-for-all, if you haven't noticed. Rocking the MPL, which is a sweet gun. I've got the rapid fire on it. And then the perks are ghost, or not ghost, uh, scavenger, sleight of hand, and... That was a fail. Did you see me fall off that map? How in the hell did this gameplay get onto the internet? That was weak. I look like a punk. I look like a rookie. A rookie. I'm using rookie instead of noob. Just something I'm trying out, guys. Anyways, yeah. I'm playing some Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, I'm getting really off topic. Oh, that was a sweet knife. So, this last weekend, not this weekend, but the last weekend, that would be like March whatever seven days from the 24th was 17th good math willard anyways i was watching the movie the fighter right and i got done great movie by the way got done watching it and i i was watching it from my roommate's external hard drive keep in mind all of these movies on the external hard drive were paid for with cash none of them downloaded illegally because that's illegal and you kids should not do that any hooser i was flipping through the external hard drive and i came across a movie called the x-files now, I am aware that the movie, uh, the show, there was a TV show called The X-Files that started like, that's old. It probably had to be like, what, late 90s, early 2000s? Anyways, I never got into the TV show. I might have like saw parts of one or two here and there. Never really got into it. But I was like, you know, I love David Duchovny because I got into Californication. And I was like, I really like David Duchovny. So I'm going to check out the movie. And I guess apparently there's two movies. I found this out later. But I watched the one from 2008. And I don't remember the title of it. It's X-Files something. It has a name. But I don't remember the title. But it was pretty good. I didn't mind it. And it just got me thinking. I was like, you know what? There's like so many movies and TV shows out there that, that I never hear about. And then like I'll hear about them. And it'll be like five, ten years past, you know, after the fact, after they came out. And somebody's like, that's a great movie. You've never seen that movie? And I'm like, what? How come nobody in my life ever told me about this movie or this TV series? Like, why? Why wouldn't anybody tell me about this? For instance, Dexter. I didn't find out about Dexter until season three was over and season four was about ready to air. Nobody even told me. Nobody ever told me about Dexter. Nobody cared to tell me, you know? They're just like, one day somebody said something. They're like, yeah, Dexter. Maybe, I don't even know if anybody told me. I think... 
you know, I don't even think anybody told me. I think I just stumbled across it. You know, I found out about these things called torrents a couple years ago, and uh, that kind of changed my life. And I started watching a lot more TV and movies after that because I could borrow them. And so I found out about Dexter, and the same thing happened with Californication. And there's like a lot of shows that I found out. Weeds was one of those, actually. Weeds, I found out another way, but it's like these shows that like have a few seasons under their belt, or maybe like they've have a, tons of seasons and they've they're completely done making the show. Like all these shows, like I never hear about until like seasons in, and it's awesome because if you start following a show from the very beginning, it's cool because you you you're with it from the start, but you have to wait the entire week or whatever for the for the episode to come out, right? The next episode. But if you come in late to a series. You get to enjoy the entire first, second, what, however many seasons have been out, like all in a row, you know, consecutively, and it's great. It's awesome. I love finding out about new TV shows and new movies even, but primarily TV shows, and just getting to enjoy all of them at once. Like, it's like, it's it's like a tree, right? And it's got the fruit on it, and the fruit are TV episodes, and they're just like, there's all this fruit on this tree, and you just pluck that fruit off. Eventually, yes, the fruit the fruit does go away and the tree dies because you're all caught up or the series is over. But for that short period of time while you're just raping and pillaging this tree, it is fantastic. And when I, I saw that X-Files movie, it just got me thinking. I was like, there's like so many great shows and so many great movies out there that I never hear about. And that's what I'm asking you. I want to know. Ooh, ooh, that was, ooh, that was nasty. That was nice. That guy... Side note, I remember this gameplay now. That guy was laughing. He's like, come on, Dub, because that, that was pretty funny. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. What are some of your guys' favorite TV shows? Like, what TV shows do you guys love? I know I talk about, it seems like I've talked about TV before, but this is different. We're not, I'm not talking about the Americans copying the Brits, okay? I am talking about what is your favorite TV show? Maybe I will like it, because I feel like you guys probably, you guys probably have some, you know, some great insight to some TV shows, or maybe there's some like quirky show that's on some weird channel like the Oxygen Network or something, and I don't know about it. And you guys are like, this is the greatest show of all time, and maybe I would love it. Or maybe some other people watching this video and reading the comments would love it. So leave a comment with your favorite TV show, or if you have a couple TV shows that, that you love, leave a comment, even if it's a popular TV show. Go ahead, let me know what it is. I would love to know what, what your guys' favorite TV shows are, and maybe we will all stumble across a gem of a television show that none of us have ever heard of, and we will all be better off. You know, we can spend more time being lazy, fat Americans, and and watching television. But I'm about to wrap this game up. I I really appreciate all you guys watching it. Thank you to all my new subscribers and checking out the Homefront videos. Your support means the world to me. Not a bad game. You can't see my score, but I went 30 and 6. I want to thank you once again for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Drop to the floor.